ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ അതി മകത്തിലുള്ള ഗായന്ന അവസരം ജീവിതത്തിൽ ഞാൻ കണക്കാക്കുന്നു പട്ടണത്തിൽ പോയി തന്റെ മകനെയും ചർച്ചിന്റെ ഡൽഹി സ്റ്റേറ്റ് കൺവെൻഷനിൽ ഇന്ത്യയിലെ നല്ലൊരു പ്രവർത്തനമാണ് മകനെയും ചർച്ചോടിന്റെ ആ സഭയുടെ വർക്കിംഗ് പ്രസിഡന്റ് ആയി താന് സേവനം അനുഷ്ഠിക്കുന്നല്ലോ ഒരു നല്ല മിഷ്യൻ അതിനെ കുറിച്ചുള്ള നല്ല മിഷ്യൻ അകത്തുള്ള ഒരു ദൈവദാസനാണ് തന്നെ ദൈവം ധാരാളമായിട്ട് അനുഗ്രഹിക്കട്ടെ തന്റെ പ്രവർത്തനം ഈ സഭയിലും അവിടെയും ഇന്ത്യയിലും ഒക്കെ ഒരുപോലെ ശക്തമായി പിന്നെയും പ്രയോജനപ്പെടട്ടെ എന്ന് ഞാൻ ആത്മാർത്ഥമായിട്ട് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കും കർത്താവിന്റെ ശ്രേഷ്ഠന്മാരായ ദൈവദാസന്മാര് പ്രിയ സാങ്കുട്ടി പാസ് ബിജു പാസ് രണ്ടുപേരും ഇവിടെ വന്ന് കാണുവാന് പരിചയപ്പെടുവാന് ഒരുമിച്ച് കൂട്ടായി മാതിരിപ്പാൻ ലഭിച്ച നല്ല അവസരത്തിനായി സ്തോത്രം ചെയ്യുന്നു ഞങ്ങളുടെ പ്രിയ ഒ വി കുഞ്ഞുവൻ പാസ് ഞങ്ങളുടെ പ്രിയ വേബിച്ചായന ഞങ്ങളുടെ കുഞ്ഞോളം മാമ എല്ലാവരുമായി ഒരിക്കലും ഇവിടെ കൂട്ടായ്മ ആചരിപ്പാൻ്റെയും ഇടയാക്കി അതിയായി സന്തോഷിക്കുന്നു ഞാൻ ആദ്യമായിട്ട് ഇവിടെ വരുമ്പോൾ ഇവിടെ ഒത്തിരി പേരില്ല നമ്മുടെ പ്രിയ അലക്സ് ബ്രദറെ ബിജു ബ്രദറെ ബെന്നി ബ്രദറെ നമ്മുടെ കുഞ്ഞു മോനച്ചാന് അങ്ങനെ കുറച്ച് പേര് മാത്രമുള്ള ഒരു സമയത്ത് മോനച്ചി മോനച്ചന് ആ സമയത്തുണ്ടല്ലേ ഓക്കെ അങ്ങനെ കുറച്ച് പേര് മാത്രമുള്ള ഒരു സമയത്ത് ഇവിടെ വന്ന് നിങ്ങളന്ന് കൺവെൻഷൻ ക്രമീകരിച്ച് അതിന് ശേഷമാണ് ഈ പാസ്വേഡ് വന്ന് ചാർജ് എടുത്തത് ഈ സഭ ഇത്രത്തോളം വളർന്ന് ഇത്ര ആത്മാക്കളെ കണ്ട് ഒത്തിരി സന്തോഷമായിരിക്കും എൻ്റെ മിഷൻ പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങളിൽ ഞാൻ പന്ത്രണ്ട് വർഷം മിഷൻ ഡയറക്ടർ ആയിട്ട് ഇരുന്നപ്പോൾ പ്രിയ അലസ് ബ്രദറും ബിജു ബ്രദറും ബെന്നി ബ്രദറും ഒക്കെ കൃത്യമായി സഭയുടെ വിഹിതമായിട്ടും വ്യക്തിപരമായി പൈസ അയച്ച് ആ പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങളെ സഹായിച്ചത് നന്ദിയോടെ ഓർക്കുന്നു ഇന്നും ഞങ്ങൾ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് വേണ്ടി പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു ആ പൈസ ഒന്നും നഷ്ടമായിട്ടില്ല വടക്കെ മലബാറിൽ അനേക സഭകൾ ആരംഭിപ്പാൻ നിങ്ങളുടെ സഹായം ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് അനുഗ്രഹമായിരുന്നു വീണ്ടും നിങ്ങളുടെ മലബാറിലെ പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങൾ ഓർത്തും പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കണമെന്ന് ഓർപ്പിക്കുന്നു സാംസന്റെ പാട്ടുകൾ മാത്രമേ ഞാൻ പലപ്പോഴും കേട്ടിട്ടുള്ളൂ പക്ഷെ ഇന്ന് പത്ത് മിനിറ്റ് എടുത്തപ്പോൾ വളരെ നന്നായിരുന്നു നല്ല ചില ചിന്തകൾ നമ്മോട് ഷെയർ ചെയ്യുവാൻ തന്റെ മകനെ കർത്താവ് സഹായിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് പഴയ പാട്ടുകൾ ദൈവമക്കൾക്ക് വളരെ ഇഷ്ടമാണ് അത് ഇപ്പോഴും മറക്കാതെ പാടി ദൈവജനത്തെ ആരാധനയിലേക്ക് നടത്തുന്ന തന്റെ ശുശ്രൂഷ കേരളത്തിലെ ദൈവസഭയ്ക്ക് ഒരു വലിയ അനുഗ്രഹമാണ് ദൈവസഭയുടെ സംഗീത വിഭാഗത്തിന് ഡയറക്ടറായി നിന്നുകൊണ്ട് താൻ വളരെ സുദർഗമായ സേവനം അനുഷ്ഠിക്കുന്നു ദൈവം തന്റെ മകനെ പിന്നെയും ശക്തമായിട്ട് ഉപയോഗിക്കുമാറും അനേക നാളുകളായി എന്റെ പുറകെ നേൽ പോലെ നടക്കുന്ന ഒരാളുണ്ട് മിനിസ്ട്രിയോട് ചേർന്ന് എന്റെ മെസ്സേജുകൾ റെക്കോർഡ് ചെയ്യുകയും അത് മറ്റുള്ളവർക്ക് പ്രയോജനകരമായി മീഡിയകളിലൂടെ ലോകത്തെ അറിയിക്കുന്ന രീതിയായി സന്തോഷമുണ്ട് തന്റെ ദാസനതയും അനുഗ്രഹിക്കട്ടെ എല്ലാ സഹോദരന്മാർ എല്ലാ സഹോദരിമാർ എല്ലാ കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങളും പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് രണ്ടു ദിവസമായി എന്റെ കൂടെ വളരെ നന്നായി ട്രാൻസ്ലേറ്റ് ചെയ്ത പ്രിയ മകൻ ഉൾപ്പെടെ എല്ലാവർക്കും വേണ്ടി നന്ദിയും സ്നേഹവും അറിയാം ഞാൻ പാട്ടുകാരൻ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഒരു നാലെയും പാടണം എന്റെ അകത്ത് ആഗ്രഹമുണ്ട് 
നമ്മുടെ സി പി രാമസ്വാമി അയ്യർ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന മനുഷ്യൻ കേരളത്തെ ഭരിച്ചുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്ന ഒരു കാലഘട്ടം അദ്ദേഹം അന്നത്തെ ഒരു സദാൻ ഹുസൈൻ പോലെ നാടുവാണ മനുഷ്യനാണ് അദ്ദേഹം ഒരു കൽപ്പന ഇട്ടാൽ അതിനെ എതിർക്കാൻ അന്ന് അവിടെ ആരുമില്ലാത്ത ഒരു കാലഘട്ടം സുവിശേഷത്തിനെതിരായി തന്നിരകൊണ്ട ഒരു കാലഘട്ടം തിരുവനന്തപുരം പട്ടണത്തിൽ താന് സുവിശേഷ പ്രസംഗനായി ചെന്നിരിക്കുകയാണ് വിരോധമായി സി പി കെ ആരോ കത്ത് കൊടുത്തു and somebody gave a cp the letter about him cp rega mula kathiri thanike koduthu vittu ibada suvishesham prasangikkan paadilla and he gave, he wrote a letter with the signature saying you cannot preach the gospel here conversion the stage keeriya pullana thande iri kathu kondu kodukku and he got this message when he got on the on, on the pulpit valiya janakootta message kekkan vandathu and a large crowd had gathered there to hear from him പക്ഷേ സി പി യുടെ കൽപ്പന ആയതുകൊണ്ട് എതിർക്കാനൊക്കത്തില്ല എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു പാട്ടുണ്ട് and there he made a song that day kristava logam mulvan angigiricha paaduna paatana and a song that our entire christian sphere yesu the jananam mudal kartavane madangi vare oriya paatana adanga paadu and he sang the beginning of jesus christ birth till the end of that song prasangikkan vanna endo adu mulvan paattayittu paadu and what about he wanted to preach that day he sang it in a song karuna niranya kannullo navan ജനത്തിൻകാരത്തിൽ കരളലിഞ്ഞു കേൾക്കും കാതുള്ളോൻ ലോകപാപ ചുമടിന് സിരസ് കൊണ്ടു ചുമന്നൊഴിപ്പതിൻ കുരിശെടുത്തു ഗോൾകോതാവിൽ പോയോനെ സ്തുതിപ്പി സ്തുതിപ്പി യേശു അല്ലല്ലുയ്യ പാടി സ്തുതിപ്പി സ്തുതിപ്പി യേശു ദേവനേ സ്തുതിപ്പിൻ ലോകത്തിൻ പാപത്തെ നീക്കുവാൻ അധിപനായി വന്ന ദൈവ കുഞ്ഞാടിന് സ്തുതിപ്പി സ്തുതിപ്പിൻ യേശു ദേവനേ അല്ലല്ലുയ്യ പാടി സ്തുതിപ്പി സ്തുതിപ്പിൻ യേശു ദേവനേ ഒറ്റ പാട്ട് പാടി കഴിഞ്ഞപ്പോൾ അന്ന് മുന്നൂറോളം പേര് രക്ഷിക്കപ്പെട്ടു അപ്പോൾ പാട്ടിലൂടെ ജീവിതങ്ങൾക്ക് രക്ഷിക്കപ്പെടുവാൻ ഞാൻ ഇന്നലെ തൊട്ട് സാംസ്കാരം പറഞ്ഞു ഈ പാട്ടൊക്കെ പാടണമെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു ഇതൊക്കെ ജനത്തെ ഭയങ്കരമായിട്ട് സന്തോഷിപ്പിക്കുന്ന സുവിശേഷം മൊത്തം ആ പാട്ടിനകത്ത് അപ്പൊ നമ്മളിങ്ങനെ കൈയടിച്ച് ബഹളം വെച്ച് പോകാതെ ഇങ്ങനെയുള്ള പാട്ടൊക്കെ ധ്യാനിച്ചത് പാടുന്ന ഭയങ്കര അനുഗ്രഹം വരും ദിവസങ്ങളിൽ ദൈവം നമ്മളെ മാനിക്കുമാറും ഒരു വേദഭാഗം ഈ പകൽ ചിന്തയ്ക്ക് ആധാരമായി വായിക്കാം പത്രോസിന്റെ രണ്ടാം ലേഖനം മൂന്നാം അധ്യായം പതിനാല് മുതലുള്ള വാക്യങ്ങൾ പത്രോസിന്റെ രണ്ടാം ലേഖനം മൂന്നാം അധ്യായം പതിനാല് മുതലുള്ള വാക്യങ്ങൾ അത് കഴിഞ്ഞ മാമ പതിനേഴോട്ട് വായിച്ചാൽ മതി ഒരു നിമിഷം കണ്ണടച്ച പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കും നല്ല കർത്താവേ മാറ്റമില്ലാത്ത വചനത്തിന് ആയി സ്തോത്രം ചെയ്യണം പകൽ ദൈവത്തിന്റെ ആത്മാവിനോട് സംസാരിക്കണം സഭയുടെ ആത്മീക വർധനവിനും ജനത്തിന്റെ മനസാന്തരത്തിനും നിത്തലയ്ക്കും അത് കാരണമായി തീരുവാൻ ദൈവമിടയാക്കണം ഏഴക്രൂശിനും അറിയുന്നു മകുത്തമീ പകലങ്ങെടുക്കണം യേശുവിൻ നാമതി തന്നെ
Let's raise our hands and praise God. One more time, sincerely. God has given us a good place to worship Him. And here you have to use the voice that God gave you. And our, uh, our place is a small village. And there's less people and more estate. estate. Uh, and because there's thousands of estates just lying there, there's less people living there. And from there, God brought a couple of men of God into the uh, gospel. In Kerala, and there's one place that doesn't have a liquor shop and that's uh, that's Kerala that place. Cinema shali illa thoru salam there's one place that doesn't have a theater in Kerala and that's that place. Idhalla mukkine mukkine and though there was there in the area. But the speciality is by God's grace all these shops have been closed. Cinema theater And the theater is now a place where conventions are held. And God bless that land. And if you want to come from Vichichura to Rani, and it's, it's a steep decline for 9 kilometers. And from Mandamariti onwards, it's a straight line. And if you go to Vichichura, it's a climb, and if you come to Rani, it's a decline. And a man of God who used to go for 21 year, years to go to Sabrimala was saved that day. And there's a pl there's a shortcut away from the uh, Vichitra to uh, uh, Sabrimala. But it's a place where there are all the wild animals, lions and tigers are there. And so they cry out the, the names of their God louder so these animals are scared away and go away. And when he came, he was saved and he came to the church of God. He was not ashamed of the gospel. And the more, the, uh, the, with the intensity that he used to call upon his God when he was a Hindu is less than the intensity of the how he used to call God's name in our church. And he said that in two, for 21 years I used to praise a God that was dead. And and now I know the living God. And I'm going to praise the living God with all the voice I have. And so he's going to, uh, from Kunnat on to, he's going to run the on cycle. And the bicycle, the brakes fail. And the cycle is going fast. And he started praising God loudly. And there's a little, uh, there's a uh, constant place. When he goes to and so this uh, old lady is crossing the road. And this this like, he hit, he hit this part. he was coming fast and he hit the lady. And the cycle became two pieces and the lady was fell on the road. And this man fell. And all the people gathered. And they got the and they got him up. And he thought, I'm going to get beat up. And all these people started to uh, uh, beat up the old lady. And they say, he said, they said, don't you hear? And this person is crying out, there's no break, there's no break from the top. But this person was actually saying, the praise Lord, praise Lord. And the people that heard from the bottom heard that there's no break, the break failed. And this lady was being scolded by all those people. And he let they let him go. And next day he came to the church. And until today I praise God. I understood the value of praise Lord. I understood how you loudly you have to say it. And yesterday I was supposed to get beat up. But because I praise God loudly. God saved me. And so that to, to, to remove the issues that you're going to face. And when you have the opportunity, praise God loudly. And 
And what worse is it? And what all things do we need in our lives? And what all things do we need for his life? And what all things do we need for his life? And what all things do we need for his godliness? Everything, everything. And by his glory. By his virtue. And when he calls you. And by his divine power. And God has given to you. Please praise God. And he has given to you everything pertaining to your life and godliness by his divine power. And let's read the second verse. By what? And by which? And by his glory. And every tongue say it. I like it to hear that. Because he gave his blood. He gave his life. He gave heaven. And he gave us throne to sit next to him. But there's something that he doesn't give anybody. And that is his glory. He doesn't give that to anybody. And by that glory. And by that virtue, and by the one that called us in the understanding, and by his power, and by everything that we need that's pertaining to our life and godliness, and he has gifted to us, and by them, Hallelujah. And say next to your person sitting next to you. And I have exceedingly great and precious promise. And your eyes have not seen them. Your ears have not heard them. It has not come in your heart. But a great exceeding promise. But an exceedingly great promise. A very valuable promise. And not by without you seeing your eyes. And without touching with your hands. And God is not going to take you away. How many of you believe that? Because the one who overcame death is the one that gave us the promise. Can we praise God together? Hallelujah. 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 And valuable. And exceedingly great. Promises. And next verse. And what do you have to leave behind? And because we have this exceedingly great promise. It says that we have to escape the correct corruption that is in the world through lust. So you have to leave the corruption that is from the world by lust. And why were we called into Pentecost? And God has brought us into this grace that we may be partakers of Jesus Christ, great, uh, of divine nature. And you have to have the assurance that I am a partaker of his divine nature. What is Jesus' divine nature? It won't stop if I preach all day. And even though he knew that Peter is going to betray him three times. And after knowing that he's going to take away six of the disciples that were with him. He gave him the key. Hello. Hallelujah. And he knew that he was going to lie about him three times. And I, even after knowing that he's going to take six of the disciples and go back to fishing. And he gave him the key. And not because he didn't know about it. He gave it because he knew about it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he put his, he, he put a great and he cleaned the feet of the one that betrayed him and not, it's, it's not a mistake and he knew that he was Judas was going to betray him but still he washed his feet and he didn't 
separate Judah. And though he knew that Judas was going to betray him for 30 years of silver, he washed his feet. Hello. Hallelujah. And we say it after the mistake happens. And Pastor, if I knew that he was going to do this, I would have never loved him. But Jesus did it, wash his feet even after knowing that he was going to do this. He even knew that he was going to give him the key. And God has brought you this grace after knowing that you're going to be tomorrow. Hallelujah. And the word of God says that we should be partakers of his divine nature even though we, he knows what we are going to become tomorrow. Oh, and when his side is pierced at the cross of Calvary and they are looking to him and saying Father he doesn't know what he's doing. If he knew who I was he would not do that. You Amen. forgive him. Don't count this against him. And what nature? Hello. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 If he had the time to testify today, and there are many people that uh, that uh, that trouble me without a cause, and you are you wicked to the wicked. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And we are all that pray God to so take revenge instead of me. And let one major mishap happen. And let both your feet be broken and put it on plaster. What's the first thing we say? Pastor, I know. I just didn't say it, what he did. Uh, you, you don't know what all things he said about it. How satisfying it is to see somebody's downfall. And if that day, if pastor says, put your hands together, we'll put our hands together. But that's not divine nature of Christ. The divine nature of Christ. After knowing everything he forgave. He loved everybody. And he was the below everybody. If you're ready to humble yourself like him, if you're ready to love like him, oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. And who should be to in the to his divine nature? We have to be partakers. And can we praise God together? I want to say a lot of things. But I just want to quickly mention four verses to know what behavior. And we all know first John chapter 2, verse 16, 17. Ah. And so let's go back to Romans chapter 8, verse 18. Romans 7, 18. Ah. Everybody look here and say Goodness does not dwell in flesh Everybody say it What is? And in my flesh There is no goodness Praise the Lord Hallelujah And John 6 verse 36 I'm giving you a revelation. One, there's no goodness in flesh. Secondly, you speak in John 6 36 says the flesh is worthless. And flesh is useless. The word of God says it. One, there is no goodness in flesh. And there is no good. Uh, there is a uh, flesh is useless. And Philippians chapter three, verse three. Philippians what? Ah. 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 
Ah. So what should we not do? We should not put our flesh. And let's read Romans chapter 13, verse 14. And so don't think for flesh. I told you four things about flesh. Firstly, there's no goodness in flesh. There's no good thing about flesh. And do not put your confidence in it. And don't think for it. The the nature of flesh. And there's lust. And there's the lust about different things. And these three things about lust. And we have to say about this, we have to it, the our, our time. And to see as spotless and blameless. And the greatest our aim is to live for this flesh, isn't it? Hello. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And a lot of people tell me I don't usually eat breakfast. But yesterday I ate one. It's not gone yet. It was a good breakfast. And I heard, Pastor, you're diabetic, right? You have blood pressure. You have to take care of it carefully. You ch- you're older now. You have to be careful. And even though you don't eat afterwards. If you, even if you don't eat lunch or dinner. And you have to eat breakfast. And with a lot of caring about me. And because they want me to live for a while. And I have to eat it. And you look to people here. And they eat breakfast at 7 o'clock in the morning. And whatever it is, they eat at 1 o'clock. And at 4 o'clock, at least they'll eat something. And don't wait until 11 o'clock to eat your dinner. Eat it and you have to have a discipline about your And so when you, you're about to go to sleep, drink something. I was just wondering if he ever says about reading the word of God. And did he say anything about praying? And prayer is not a issue. Not reading the Bible. Not worship. And this, this flesh is already And so when I'm dead and they have to pick up my body, he's trying to increase my weight. And if this increases the weight, the word of God says, there's useless. And all this, all this medical science gathered and priced our body for seven rupees. And it's useless. And there's no goodness. And so don't trust this flesh. And so do not let your aim be flesh. Although your outside man is Baby China, let me tell you something. And only our flesh needs dialysis. And only our flesh needs it has a problem with the kidney. Only our flesh has a problem. Only our flesh has a problem. Because he's ready by the blood of and did you not go on something else that they should? And it's your inner man. And you know why you don't say hallelujah loudly? It's because flesh is there. And now everything is like growing a hen. And you know, we know the problem with hops and hens. And they get up when they have to eat. And they eat with two mouths. And they just close a collapse immediately. And that's what we eat. And that's what we do with like exactly like the chicken. 
Listen carefully, I want to quickly mention a few things. I was very tired one day. I didn't have the, the strength to do things. I was very tired one day, I was full of fatigue and I was put into examination. And so my sugar was really high. And that's when I realized I have a problem with sugar. And I was very, very... And they said we have to take insulin. You have to be very strict about it. And that day I said, no, God's going to lead me. I'm also a man. And my heart was heavy. And three daughters. And only once married. And she doesn't have a job yet. And two more are studying. And I have to marry both of them away. It's our church God. And it's not who's going to bury me. And who is to live in faith home after I go. And so what happens after that? What is the future of my children? And all these thoughts started to come to me. And I started thinking about my death. And I got into my prayer room. And the word of God, the Spirit of God told me to read the book of God. I came to the Gospel of Mark. And Gospel of Mark. And the Gospel of Mark. And chapter 8. And the Gospel of Mark. And chapter 8. Let's quickly go to it. And chapter 8. And words 15 onwards. And words 15 onwards. Let's read from 17. Why do you reason because you have no bread? And don't you still realize? Do you not perceive yet? Is your heart still hardened? Having eyes you don't see? Having ears you don't hear. And do you not remember? When I broke the five loaves of five, for the 5,000, how many baskets full did you collect? Ah. And I read that words about 50,000 times. That's when I realized there are 10 questions in there. And that's, that night is the first time I realized I used to read him like normal. But that's when I saw there are 10 questions there. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God started, the Spirit of God started asking me these questions. And Cherian, you are not not to understand who is your God. You do not recognize who is your God. You don't see with your eyes. You don't see with your ears. And you don't realize how your mission is not. I praise God. And you, and you are tense in front of a small problem. I fed 5,000 with five loaves. I fed for seven hundred. But you still don't realize. And this word starts to hit me. And the Spirit of God asked me. And from 34. Until 2014. And this 30 years. And everything that God had done to me. And from 84 to 2014. And everything God has done. And the way He had done. And the way He delivered. I started praying. 
Early in the morning, I checked my sugar spine. And the power of word of God. And do you not understand? Do you not perceive? Do you not remember? Do you not understand? How many of you can take that? Oh, hallelujah. 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 And yesterday Kunman said, uh, Chan said, I fell from the top. I, my leg was broken. Uh, my head was broken. And God gave me a second life. And today there might be a fever. Tomorrow there might be a chest pain. And don't climb on it. And you remember yesterday's deliverance. And if you still remember, you still recognize. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Moses. Moses. And why are you standing so fine, so, so uh, fine, but pleasingly in front of Mara? And there's 3,000 people, 300,000 people there waiting there. And why are you not worried? And Moses' answer. And how big is this then, the, the Red Sea? And there's sea, the day, there's, there's, there's army in the back. And when I just stood there, and when the way was open, and the one who opened that way, can he not change his wilderness? And why do I have to be tense? Hello. Hallelujah. And don't look so up to his power. And to yesterday's deliverance. And if you're ready to praise God, but remember what he did for you yesterday. And the one who walked is the The one who opened the way for us. And yesterday you mentioned us. He's able to lead us today. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Why did you get a second life? Why did God give you a second health? So you can stand there spotless and with glory. So you can stand in front of him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That word 17 is very strong. Let's read that again. And because you know it's heaven. So if we are not careful, we all will fall. It doesn't matter who it is, no matter how smart he is, if he will fall if he is not careful. And Jude only wrote a, a small word, epistle. And the last, and Jude chapter and there's only one thing that the saints have to say in the end of the epistle. What it say? So be careful so you may not fall. And if you fall from a staircase, you can buy your life. If you break your head, you can put it back together. Hello. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But if you fall from grace, there's no covering up. There's no covering up. If you fall, you fall. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
and the one who was in the third heaven and praise God and in one fall and he straight went to hell and in New Testament one person was taken there and that is the the, 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 he, the Paul doesn't even know how he got there but he was taken up to the third heaven and when he got there he asked and God the one, the one that was here earlier where is he now and he said look down and God said look down Paul looked down and he closed the door and with two he took and with two he slumped and the one that were worshipping God and left first heaven left the second heaven and left the third heaven and left the empty spaces and left the atmosphere and left the earth as in Sheol and Paul frightened and if anybody thinks he's standing if anybody thinks he stays be careful that you don't fall because nobody can pick you up after that and so be careful lest you fall I want to tell you this with a lot of seriousness be careful so you don't fall and you said for six things how you can Fall. And Pastor will let me know how many moments I can take. Ten more minutes. I'll say what I can say with ten minutes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Anybody sad about it? I, I want to sit now, right now, when you, I'm seeing you sitting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you said for, uh, six things. One, First thing. And the one that, were, that escaped from Egypt. And though they were delivered. But they were destroyed in the wilderness. Second thing. And the angels of God. And not the ones that I just mentioned. Because they couldn't stay at their own. And for the eternal judgment. And to save them. And are bound with chains. And the third thing. And the ones that were in Sodom and Gomorrah. And the, with their lusted after the wrong things, and walked in the wrong ways. And by sulfur and fire from heaven. And they were burned. And three things And because they walked in the wrong walk, they walked. And so for, this is an illustration for you. And so, and so this doesn't happen to us. We have to be careful. And after that he said three things. Things. And first, don't walk in the ways of pain. And so, don't fall in the ways of Bela. And don't be in the in the murmuring of God. First, don't walk in the ways of Cain. And what was Cain's ways? It's a very simple. And he wanted to kill the one that was worshiping. Hallelujah. He wanted to kill the true worshipper. And from then to today it happens. You don't have to wear all white. You don't have to clean shave. And don't have to, you don't have to put the beard where Samson described. And you can say whatever you want to do. You can do whatever you want to do in here. You can wear your pants whatever you want to do. And many people are holding on to their pants because it's falling down. And that kind of pants. But it can be anything. And you don't have to even wear a shirt. The spider on your legs. And there's a dragon on the back. And they're taking. And you don't have to wait. And you can take part in the And you don't even have to. Have you can go home and eat. And when the people that say like this. And it's the heading says Jesus here. 
And you come to our land. And he said, I don't have a passport. I don't have a visa. Sponsor tried to. And they got the sponsor. Passport letter. Letter. And then he got the passport. Visa he got the visa. And he got here. Stotram. And hallelujah. And he said, I called you. It's, you have to curse the one who worshiped him. You have to curse the word of prayer. And you have to curse the one that has well over passport. You have to curse the one that walked over the dead sea. You have to curse the one that drank from the rock. I, I praise God for those who understand. And he said, I, that's not how it works. And here there's 50 pounds of oil. And this this suitcase 50 pounds. And 7 kilograms of this one. And all these things are yours. Hello. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you can get all of this in the next flight. Spray and from spray. Every all items. You just have to curse. And he said, yeah, I'll try. Uh, these, these things. And go to a, a mountain. And he got into the mountain. And the, the altar, the sacrifice. And when he was about to curse. And 30,000 people. He couldn't see a single person. And he's looking. And he cleaned his glasses. He started looking one more time. He couldn't see a single person. And when he's looking, and yes, the people are under there, but above it, there's a And nobody's saying it. And when he's about to curse, and the people are under the cloud, and he said, I can't curse him here. Because everybody that has the Passover is under the cloud. And you're under a cloud. Under cloud. And he come to your house. And, he, and he said, let me try from another mountain. And they did their all the all the sacrifices done. And he, he's saying, and so it's the same thing. People are under the cloud. And he said, I'm because of this. And he went to the next I, I don't know what mountain it is. And there's, I don't know if it's Shabrimala or Padimala or Padimala. And wherever they try to climb, and you understand, and to destroy your worship, to destroy your holiness, he can climb all the mountains that he wants. And he will give everything that he can. And he can burn all the incense. He can try everything. But heaven said, and by the one that has Oh, 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 and if it is, it's going to away. And before we say and he climbed to four mountains, he couldn't curse. And he, he gave up and came back. 
I, I just want to tell you something. But the let's say we are. And now everything we say is in is in the air. Why have we done that? 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 Why have It's because so they, they can be and so they can increase in their spirit but because everybody is like that everybody stands up everybody sing in the song and then go tell it in their ears and there's only controlling like this here I want to go back to the other auditorium and there's no controlling you can come there or the, or the temple you can wear your jewelries and nobody said a hallelujah it's not what I told you in the year and so I told I said if you want to say something just say and don't say it in somebody else's ears and many messages that you say to me I'm here this month and not a big program I have a three month and that's what they say hallelujah hallelujah praise the Lord hallelujah And so the, he said in his ears. And Balaam is saying to Balak. And so there's a speciality to our God. And unlike your God. And our God is not a God that just sings around. Our God is great in holiness. He is great in righteousness. And bear remember there is holiness here. And bear remember there is no holiness he leaves. And so there is only one way for the to be first. And take away that glory of God. And there is only one way for the to be Commit them to make sense. and made them with, uh, eat food for the idols how many of you understand and he advised them to make them go the wrong way and Jude says so don't fall in the deceitment of and do not fall with Belial and pastor I, just, I, I came to this faith alone how am I not supposed to go to his uh, his child baptism we have to keep our blood relation and the faith will come and go that doesn't mean that's why I went there and so when they told me to place my hands on the child I just did it and because and although I, I, he says that I have to go to the feast I have I, there's no way I can avoid it and you have to say and brother I'll come to your house and pray but I think that's wrong it is a full time I have taken it. I won't put my hands on it. And that there's no point in standing here. And praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so you put that uh, uh, coat in your mouth. And you take that sweet. And you take that gift. And you don't, you don't, and don't come here to open the mouth. Hallelujah. And if you should be saying, And if you lose holiness, the God Spirit, the Prince of God leaves. Balaam understood that. And he told the Balak. And the people committed sin. And the God Spirit. I want to complete it here. Next thing. And it's the, the murmuring of Korah. And the competition came to the church. And now it's, it's church is it's ruled by the family. And the father, the, 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 the brother Aaron is the high priest. And the young one, the young Moses is the one getting the message from God. And that lady, that, that lady is old now, Miriam is old. And she was a prophet. 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 And she was And so the, the, the two brothers are ruling the church. And you call these two, to, to and, call somebody from our place. and you have to stop this ruling. And they went to every house. Nobody supported them. And when they found out there's no support, and the worst of 
ചോദിക്കാൻ <laughs> and he changed his method prarthana method maati and he changed the method of prayer adiyo ke sapna pottilla prarthichu at first he used to sit in prayer pinne paare irunnond kai bokki prarthichu and then he used to praise it with his hands up above adiyo mutta enna prarthichu kondu and then he started on the vishayam anam pulli mutta mele nadi pinne nirthi and when he, this came he started paare thirunnulla prarthana maati he sit on a rock or on his knees and he just fell straight down ninda vishayam gemura mulla anangil and if you were you should and he changed your method of prayer prarthana method maati kondu and change your method of prayer oh sha kaavada oru kanappu kanannu and moses just fell and god came down and you said son get out and they're not fighting against you and they're not fighting against you and they're not fighting against me i will handle this and i'm praising god and you're going to praise god and you should have god and don't fall in that in that condition don't fall william to see ഒറ്റപ്പൊടി <laughs> 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 ഞാൻ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാൻ പോകയാമിഷം മത്സരിച്ചവന്റെ എല്ലാം വടി ഉണങ്ങി and the one who competed against the devil turned into a body but the one guy was one night one night one night it flourished and it blessed it blessed and now there's the heaven and tonight when i go but you need to turn come over you are going to flourish you need to turn come over 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 One moment before we sing. നിങ്ങൾക്ക് വേണ്ടി പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാൻ പോകും. I'm going to pray for you. കർത്താവ് വരാൻ താമസിച്ചാൽ and if God's coming is delayed. ഞാൻ ഇനി വരും. I will come. എന്നോടുള്ള വാക്യത്തെ ഞാൻ ഉണ്ട്. And the promises of God are still with me. ഞാൻ നിറവേറ്റുന്നതിന് എന്നെ മാറ്റുന്നു. And God will only take me away after my promises are fulfilled. കർത്താവ് വരാൻ താമസിച്ചാൽ നിങ്ങളെ വന്ന് ഞാൻ കാണും. And so if God's coming is delayed I will come back. I will see a bigger church hall. I will see more people. I'll see great miracles. I mean if you believe that. ദൈവം നിങ്ങളെ മൊത്തം ഉപയോഗിക്കാൻ പോയി. And God is going to use you. നിങ്ങൾ നമ്മ ചിത്രമാരെ നേരെ നിൽക്കാൻ പോയി. And God is going to stand up and bless the people. Yes, so the Lord is going to be here. And your ministry is going to be here. And your ministry is going to be revealed. Oh, yes, the Lord is going to be here. Yes, the Lord is going to be here. Yes, the Lord is going to be here. One moment I want to pray for you. And let's stand in the presence of God. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Call everybody up front. I'm not taking time. I don't want to place my hands on you. And God's hand is going to come down. The Spirit of God is going to come down on you. And your level of anointing and your level of anointing is going to change. And as a climb, you start to climb up here. God is going to rise you up. It's a new level. How many of you believe that? Together, put both your hands up. Dear God, our Heavenly Father, and we are the valley of your blood. And don't let it happen what happened to the people of Israel. And let it not happen to the, what happened to the people of Let it not happen what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. And let us not walk in Cain's way. Let us not be deceived by Let's not be in competition like Pharaoh. Lord Father has spotless and blameless. Spotless and blameless. And so we can stand. And give you grace upon the people. A new anointing. A new authority. Let this church flourish. Let the families flourish. Let the generation flourish. And let the people come to a new level. And the power of enemy that is trying to destroy. And the powers of the idol worship. And the power of the name of Jesus. I'm 